Hi, I'm Victoria and tonight I'm doing this crazy thing. My neighbor just came up to my house, told me please bring your camera, bring it down. I wanted you to do a blog at my house. So I brought the camera and here I am. She got, just got her shipment from her wine club with Charles Krug and I'm tasting there a new release of Cabernet Sauvignon for the very first time. So this is the tasting I'm doing tonight for the very first time with you. It's the Charles Krug Yonkville 2004 Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. And just to really short bring you up to date on Charles Krug, Charles Krug is the oldest uh, winery in Napa Valley. It was founded in 1861. It's uh, been since a long time owned by the Peter Mondavi family, the brother of Robert Mondavi, who we are all very familiar with. But go online to uh, charleskrug.com and find out. It has a really rich history. So let's see what the wine has to offer. So this will be my very, very first sip together with you. It has a really beautiful, beautiful dark red purple color in the glass. It's very dense. It's a very young cab. It's a 2004, just newly released. So we'll see what it has to offer for us. It has some dark cherries on the nose. Uh, a little sweet hint, uh, I would say kind of like a vanilla oak on it, it's been aged in oak. So let's taste it. It's kind of hard to taste actually. It still has that black cherries, some other dark, dark berries in it, a little peppery. It's a good wine, but it almost feels like it's a little bit closed down, like it's in a dumb stage. Both the nose and the palate is very restricted. You can kind of get a feeling for what it has to offer, but you can't really. A lot of wines go through this stage once, never, or maybe several times through its lifespan. And it feels like this one right now is kind of closed down, it's resting a little bit. And maybe in a couple of months or a week or maybe in a year, it's going to be much better. So I think this is going to be a really nice wine. I don't think it's showed its true potential yet. So I think we all need to revisit this in a year or two. According to the winery, they recommend drinking it between 2009 and 2011. So we're still two years away from that. You can find this at charleskrug.com from $26, which is a really reasonable price for a good quality Napa Valley Cabernet. And don't be discouraged by my comments today. I truly just think it's closed down, it's resting a little bit, and I think it's going to show a really nice potential for the future. Thank you for watching tonight, and if you've tasted this wine, if you have any comments for me, I would love to hear them. Have a good night. Skål!